Hello and welcome back to the Canny Caledonians. We are now the Caledonian Confederacy. We are big and blue now instead of being green. I kind of like the green more, but you know, now we're blue. And we got two options. We can either go and start colonizing over here, which is definitely good and gets us closer to our next decision, Unite Albion, which would just be fantastic. Um, or we can start uniting Albion by attacking people, which is also an option, which is not necessarily bad. Now here, these guys have um, 58 troops between them, and we have 71. We also have an ally who we could would potentially join us if we felt like attacking down here. So I'm tempted to attack in here, especially as they got a claim on us. That would be really good. Uh, we could take all of that in one war if we got a claim on it, which would be nice. We could also probably take some of that land down there as well. Hmm. I think I might grab a claim. Yeah, let's fabricate a claim. And then we're going to start moving down here. So, I'm just seeing, do we have any really good leaders? So, we have a, as an 8, we have a 9, we have a 10. We have another 9. We have a, is that a 12? That's a 12. Okay, so you're going to come down here first. I'm just going to move some others around the sides here. Yeah. Checking that it's looking good. Um, I'm going to leave the 9 up here in case I need to fight off some bar. Actually, do I bring it down anyway? Can I see when the barbarians are likely to strike? No. I'm going to send the 9 down knowing that barbarians might strike. it. Uh, mm, that's the problem because if we've got barbarians that are attacking, ideally I want one army either side to be able to just cut them down. I'm going to bring them down anyway. Let's see where, where we got people going. Um, I could drop them off there. Okay. So they're going to head down here. Right. Just on pause, wait for our armies to get into position, and then we'll war. Yeah, I think we I think warring's the right option. Yeah, definitely. We got civic advance. Okay. Uh, so, national citizen output, slaves needed for sort plus, and civic tech investments. Okay. I wonder if changing our uh, government type changed our options here. Ah, who knows? I don't have the oratory power required to even look, but I don't think it did. Okay. Right. Uh, they're still making their way down here. Taking a little bit of attrition because they're overlapping, but that's fine. Uh, that one's just going to reinforce there. In fact, I'm going to send this one up back up here a little bit. And that'll be the one that I use to fight off barbarians. Yeah. Call to arms from Dubonia. What have you done? Why? Why would you go to war with these people? Just wait for me. And then we can go to war with a good target. Instead, you're dragging me into your... Terrible war. What's my negative if I just say no? No. I'm not interested. I don't want to be part of that war. That's, that's in no way a war that I want to be... That, like, that's suicide. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not suicide, but it slows down my plans. Unruly tribesmen. Okay, with no warfare to focus their efforts. Oh, come on. We're, it's, we're about a month away. Anyway, uh, you can lose military power. Um, We can lose stability. Or we can uh, spread out our people to lessen the chaos. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for the lose one stability, then boost up our stability with our religious power option, which means that we get minus one unrest, which is quite nice. So how many troops do we have? We have 76. I think we're still stronger, but I am a little worried. Now, they appear to have two forts, is that right? Yeah. I think they have two forts. They have their capital, and then they have that one. So what we want to do in what we want to do first, we want to bring an army forward to siege that. With two armies flanking, and an army forward to siege that. Although that probably means we want to send in our first army down here. Try and uh, attack that. That seems like the best option. Uh, invention. Okay. Siege Engineer seems pretty good uh, if we're about to attack someone. Yeah, let's grab Siege Engineers. Okay. 
And then I kind of want to just bunch up these ones. So if I bunch up them into one pile. Yeah, something like that. I know they're going to take some attrition by doing that, but that's okay. Uh, we got some new technology here. So, uh, national manpower, national freeman happiness, and army morale recovery. Okay. I think I'm ready for the war. I think this is a reasonable set. We have another 9,000 coming in to back us up. Yeah. Declare war. I would like to take this. Wait, when did they get... Alright, so... Wait, who's Morenia? Oh, okay. Yeah, but... You have zero boats. Okay, well... They're not joining the war then, are they? If they have zero boats. Um, you apparently have six boats. Wait. I didn't know boats could be exiled. That's a weird one. How, why would a boat be exiled? Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna go for... Um, how about blockade, um, there? We'll probably lose them, but that's fine. Then we don't have to pay for them. Uh, I'm gonna declare the war. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna raise these. Definitely. Then I'm gonna sit here for a month and, uh, think about what I've done. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send you back out there manually, because I want you to sit out here and, uh... Show me where their troops are. Oh, we are being attacked. That's unfortunate. But I still get to see where their troops are while I'm being attacked. We were defeated. Okay, so they're gonna make their way over there and then probably back into port. Okay. Let my morale recover, I guess. Uh, you would like to import furs. Sure. It's fine. Yeah, probably should have recovered morale before the war if I wanted to kind of blast them, but that's fine. We will wait a second or two here. That's a large-ish army. Okay, everyone in. We have enough morale. Uh, we've lost uh, the leper trait. Nice. Okay. Everyone in. Yeah, this seems good. I can't see a negative with attacking here. Yeah, they they have better quality than ours, and the terrain is to the benefit. I, it's useful to know they have better quality than ours. Their morale's not high, though. It's good. We are going to catch them. Yeah. We have more that we're chucking in. They also have more that they're chucking in, but we have a lot more that we're chucking in. Are they locked yet? They're not locked. Okay, unfortunate. Uh, these guys are still walking. Okay, they're locked. I have 45,000 coming to join us, so... This is terrible for them. I have 54,000 now. So our 13,000 is already too many for them. Uh, taxing druids. We can get religious power and loyalty, or we can get more tax. Uh, you know what? Not the time to be losing loyalty. I uh, just want to have a look at this here. Oh, we can make it go quicker by not selecting the battle. Oh, okay. That's fine. We have a huge defense. Like, even though we're, we've got... Uh, oh, and they have negatives, actually. So we have a better leader and they have negatives. So, yeah, this, this is just a slaughter. Yeah, okay. Then we get to do the next one with the same number of troops and the same negative. Actually, right, so we have a better, even better lead against these troops. And we have more joining us. Yeah, this this is not looking good for them. They're just opting into the meat grinder. Uh, so we lost um, 2,000. They lost 6,000. Anyone else? No? Okay. So I'm going to move the 56,000 into... Well, I kind of want to split them into two. Is there an easy way to do that? Um, yeah, I guess I could deselect the ones I don't want. So let's say that these two are enough, and I'll deselect everyone else. That means we're moving 32,000 in there and 23,000 up there. That, that makes sense, yeah. So, uh, yeah. 
So we are pushing them back. Then the 9,000 can chill. Yeah, it seems good. Okay. Um, They have quite a large army going down there. Where are they heading off to? They're all heading to their capital there. Okay. So make the way down to the capital. We should, in theory, meet them on the way. We will meet them there as well. Just going to move this army um, round the back there. Actually, I can just move that army up one. Yeah, it'll work. Who else joined? They both joined as well. Okay. Useful to know. Um, the people without boats I'm still not frightened of. That's, that's fine though. Oh, this one's not looking good for us. We actually lost quite a lot of morale straight straight away. Okay. Yeah, okay. Wait, they have boats, but I'm not really worried about that. These are good fights for us. Uh, we lost 4,000, but they we killed 5,000. And then we have an extra 6,000 in there. Actually, just stay where you are. Stay where you are. Where are you heading off to? Oh, you're heading to the capital. Okay, you're heading to the slaughterhouse, basically. Um, so we killed 6,000, lost 2,000 again. Okay. So I think this 18,000 stack here, we're going to send over to that fort. Uh, and then the 8,000 will come and join them in a second. Yeah, this seems good. Uh, that once we take this fort, that will get all of those. This fort will get all of those, and then we automatic. Then we've sieged everything, and there's no way for them to come back. I think we take out one enemy in this war as well. I don't think we want to take multiple ones. Uh, we're quite happy to just take one and then leave. Yeah. So I'm just gonna bring this this one round to join in. Yeah. Actually, if I go here, I can probably go to either province. Yes, I can go to either province. So I'll take, bring the 7,000 in and just have them sitting at the back. That's a large army that's moving through this way. Um, I don't... Oh, we're not hostile to them. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good to know. Okay. Yes, and they're marching through, but we're not hostile to them. Still. Okay. That's good. Uh, they could, in theory, walk through the center here, I imagine, because they're uh, they're not restricted by their fort movements. Yeah. It's going to move the 7,000 in. Even though we're going to take more attrition that way, I'd prefer to have larger stacks. And it will make the sieges go quicker, I think, if we have larger stacks. We will take a lot more attrition, but that's also fine. Um, Yeah. Okay. And this one's 14%. Yeah, it's going fine. Once we take this one, we'll, we have the fort in the area and we can move back and attack them again. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay. So we now have that fort. Uh, and I'm going to... Um, yeah, it's a large army. I just want to move back one. Where are you heading? You're heading in here. Ah, do I just break off? I could head down here, and then I can head to that province through that way, can't I? Yeah, okay, so I'll head down to uh, Sino uh, Magus. Yeah, that's okay. And then in there. This is this is the only path I've got. Sue for peace, what are they offering us? Um, Wait, they're offering us Isenia. I want to accept, but I'm worried that... Well, okay, I can open it here, can't I? Yes. I think what they have done is they've offered us Isenia, as in the province. I'm going to accept that offer. They offered us Isenia, the province. My god. That they were about to have a potential, uh, you know, turnaround in the war. And they were just like, you know what? What if we just give up our entire country? Let's see if that works. I mean, yeah, it's, 
fine by me. Yeah. If that's the way you want to handle things, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I should probably have had those guys on better tactics, but turns out uh, superior numbers do matter. Uh, and then just head back. That's fine. You. Um, and then another one. Just move out there. Just spread out. Okay, uh, what do we want to do? Um, I think we're just going to pass judgment and then take all the families. Yeah, that's fine. And now we have all the families, we can look for upgrades. So what do I want? Uh, manpower recovery speed? Uh, we already have max. We do have a better one there, though. Uh, this one, we have a better one. National tribesman happiness, we have a better one. High priest, better one. Tax? Didn't think we were getting better than that. Uh, same with that one, and then we don't have a better one there. Technology, what have we got? We've got a... Uh, eight. We can probably beat eight. Yeah, we've got an eleven now. Got an eleven, we can't beat that. We've got ten, we can replace them with an eleven. And we got a twelve, uh, twelve is the best. Right. New invention. Um, national manpower seems very good. Especially in our current situation. Um, citizen output as well is quite nice. Uh, I'm going to take the national manpower. Just push our manpower up even further. So we've got a ton of manpower now. Uh, all of these new provinces... Okay, so we do have this governor policy which we start with. Which is local unrest. Which I want to change because that's obviously going to cause us issues. Uh, let's change it to local tax. There we are. So that's going to help us quite a lot there in terms of the uh, hatred of us. War exhaustion is then the next one. We'll just burn that down. So they still have war exhaustion here? But I don't have any war exhaustion. Maybe I'll wait for a month and see if that burn has burned off now. Yeah, so now they have just unhappy pops, which is fine. Uh, what's the loyalty of the province? Uh, loyalty of the province is 60 trending upwards. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Good. That's just new land added in with actually pretty much zero negatives. And actually, I can already start uh, importing in here. Um, let's import in some wood. Because uh, I already have wood. So that's going to give me more local tax. Yeah, we'll get that from Nervia. Anywhere else that I can do trade routes from? Oh, I have no civic power left. But yeah, more tax is good. Now, that went surprisingly smoothly. I came in with a plan, and the plan actually just worked. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, power has fallen over here. Oh, that's that one, the regional power. Wait, is it? Ambaria? It seems like it's that one. Oh, they just gave a city over. That's fine. Yeah, and our name, it's not quite, it's not very large right now. I mean, in terms of length, it's quite large. But in terms of font, because we've got a very long name, it's not really going that far. I guess we need to get Albion as a matter of priority then. Oh, I just noticed that uh, Debunia has taken all of that now. That's worrying. Yeah, it, it causes me um, to worry. But we could pretend... Are these guys still allied? They're allied with each other, but they are pretty weak. That might be our next target, those two. I, I'm definitely feeling like there's going to have to be a reckoning at some point where we absorb all of... Uh, Dubunia, but we'll see. That's going to be a major, major war. And I'm not sure we're quite ready for it yet. However, we do have um, space to expand while they are pretty much hemmed in by us. So that's a nice uh, little feature there that we've got there. I'm just going to move this one up one. So it's a little bit, well, I'm going to move it over there. Just so it's a little bit closer in case of a uh, barbarian attack. Oh, yes. Uh, economy. Uh, lower all of these down. Also, remember to actually do it before the next war. That's just a reminder for myself to actually change those all back. So we don't have that awkward, hmm, I'm just going to sit here and recover my morale. Uh, yeah. Okay, so they are... The manpower is being used to recover our armies, but that's fine. After a couple months, that'll all be sorted. Good. Our money is now coming back in. We barely lost anything, really, in that war. Pillaged. Uh, a group of soldiers belonging to an army commanded by Gwendolyn Lagadin has um, 
uh, like Gigni, essentially like Gigni, has uh, one, has while stationed in, on a peaceful deployment, absconded in order to pillage a nearby city. Uh, okay. So what uh, what is more concerning is that Gwendolyn is refusing to punish her legion, citing their extreme loyalty as a reason. We're left in a disagreeable position, having to choose between forcing our general to crucify his own soldiers or appearing weak and soft. We can't help but feel that Gwendolyn knows precisely what she is doing. We can say we're not. We can't afford to anger Gwendolyn, or we anger Gwendolyn. Where's where is that province? This one, right? Uh, is it? No, this one. Yeah, whatever. It's angry. That's yeah. You know. Not a big deal. It's looted. How long is the looted one on for anyway? Yeah, two years. Not a problem. Uh, you would like to import furs. Sure. Um, that's fine. Yeah, you can import furs. You would like to import salt. Okay. Fine. I'm happy to get more money. Don't get me wrong. Very happy. Uh, do we have enough uh, pop over here yet? We have 10, don't we? We have 10. Fantastic. So we can actually start expanding out this way. Uh, we can get horses. That allows us to get heavy calf and light calf. We already have horses, though, in one of our provinces. I think. Was it down here? Yeah, we have horses in there. We can get more horses. Um, we can also, I think we can colonize anything in the area as well. So we could get any of these. I, I might be wrong. Wait, no, we can't colonize anything. We can only do one sea tile. Or one or one slot. So basically our options are leather, horses, or fish. I like fish. We're going to get fish. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to move a tribesman over, I think. Yeah. There we go. A little bit more expansion. Um, And then I just chill out and wait. Are there any slaves nearby? There's a slave here, which will only cost me... That'll only cost me 15 to move over. So I might just do that now, before I forget. So that's gonna be to... Uh... That one? Yeah, to that one. Then from this one, I can move it over to... That one. Yeah, and then I can move from here over to there and there. Those are good ones. Any other slaves over here? Uh, nope. Okay. Well, that might be why it's a good idea, potentially, to switch this over to um, the... What's it? The tribesman pop can upgrade into a slave pop because then we can move slaves around more easily and then we can use them to colonize. Well, we use them to provide the numbers for colonization. That could be an answer, but, you know, not necessarily something we need to worry about right now. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.